no, I can't do that. I don't, I don't have enough time to get there. And I love it because she knows what she's capable of doing and she sets her schedule to that. So if you are doing three, four signings a day, sometimes you got to give one up. Sometimes you got to give one up. But I promise you, if you do it right, they'll call you again. They will call you again if it's done right. So be mindful of that. And also, if the, if the title company, let's say you are a preferred notary or you want to be a preferred notary, most title companies are going to have a um, notary checklist. I think Tamika has the attachment on the Zoom call. You, you ready for it to go up? Um, yes, it can. It can. Okay. Can you can you all see the mm -hmm. almost? <clears throat> so everyone should be able to see the notary checklist. I, I, I'm sorry. Tell her to hit her enable editing. And yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay. So this is a form and I'm just using this. This is what I do. I don't know if all title companies do it, but you guys are more than welcome to use this document as a, as a basis for when you go to your appointments. Okay. So there's a notary checklist that we provide to every notary that does a closing for us out of the office. And there are some, and there are truly some guidelines that um, we want to adhere to. Always call and confirm the appointment. Let us know that you called and confirmed the appointment. That's just a given, you know. Print your documents if not picked up from the office. I'm, I'm really bad at printing documents for people and taking them to their house. Sorry, Miss Liz. Um, but I do that sometimes just so I know that I've put the package in the right order and you don't have any additional documents to print. Now, you should always be able to print your notary documents. You should always be able to print your packages that come from the title company, okay? Um, if you are unsure of the sizing, print everything on legal. Makes it easy. Just print it on legal. The reason why I say that is because when it comes time for us to record the documents with the county, if you've printed your documents on regular letter size paper and they shrink the size of the, of the verbiage that's on the documents, the county recorder can't read the shrunken verbiage. So we wanna make sure that the documents are on legal paper. If, you're, if it's questionable, just if it's questionable. If you know how to work your Adobe settings, wonderful. I think it's great. Make sure that you have your escrow officer's number. Make sure you have the realtor's number. Make sure you have the lender's number before you go to the appointment. Always make sure you have the customer's number. But make sure you have the lender's number because technically you're not supposed to be explaining those documents to them. They should have already gone over those documents with the lender. You are there to notarize their signatures and witness their signatures, okay? Make sure, guys, that you are getting um, the physical address for the signing. We may put it in there as the property address. Make sure when you call and confirm that you are asking them the time and location of the signing. It may change. If it does, call us and let us know because we assume that they're closing at the property. Most of the time, unless they tell us something different, um, make sure you're getting the IDs and getting those sent over ASAP. Okay. Take a picture and send it to the title company. I know a lot of times we're moving fast. So we all have smartphones. Just take a picture and send it to the title company immediately. Hey, this is the person I'm signing. The names don't look different on the names look different on the docs. What do you want? How do you want me to do this? Take your pens. Take your pens, guys. Go get the little cheeks, you know, 
pack of tin pins for a dollar at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, wherever they wherever they are. Um, just because you know, um, a lot of times people want to use their own pins and reiterate, hey, we need to use glue ink as those are live signatures. We need to make sure that they can determine what's a copy and what's not. Call and tell us that you're there and you're safe. Call us when you leave. Just call and say, hey, text. Most companies now you can text. You can text the company and let them know that the closing's complete. Um, we also wanna know how the closing went. If you had a, a horrible experience with a signer, we wanna know that. If it was a great experience, we wanna know that too. Because I always wanna, I wanna cut the lender off before they cut me off. Okay, we want to make sure that we're calling saying, hey, the signing is complete. They had a difficult time, but we want to make sure that they understand our notary did their job and we back our notary. If I hear it from the lender first, I can't back you up, especially if you're a preferred notary, especially if you're a preferred notary. Okay. Internet, could I just interject uh, uh, just one, one little thing? Um, well, first of all, you guys, let me just say that NPR is wonderful. Uh, their packages are clean. They're, they're small. None of those two, 250 size pages. She takes all her all the junk. It's, we call it junk, but it's really not junk. But the things that, the, the, that, that does not concern the borrower, uh, Internet does not put it in there. But um, I also, I wanted to just say, the sample that you see, the instructions that you see on the screen right now, I want you to understand that these instructions are NPR's instructions. Yes. Each title company may have different instructions. So this is a great uh, start as far as something you can um, look for, whatever, but make sure that you are uh, paying particular attention to each individual hiring entity because yes. their instructions may be different. And the other thing is, yes, I, I totally agree. If you, if you do not have the capability to print mixed documents, you know, eight and a half, the, the, oftentimes they will tell you to print the documents um, as instructed. And you may have a hundred that are on legal and a hundred that are eight and a half by 11. You need to do so. You follow the hiring company's uh, guidelines. Now, with that being said, let's say that God forbid, you run out of eight and a half by 11 paper and your alternative is to just print legal. What you're going to do before you do that is to let your hiring company know that you must print legal only and let them tell you whether or not that's okay. Never ever shrink to fit a page. That's the other thing. If you only have eight and a half by 11, and you've got some legal in there, absolutely never ever shrink to fit. Thank you for letting me interject that. <laughs> no problem. Um, and then guys, the only thing, the only other thing on this list that is very important to me is that if you can't accept the assignment, please let us know right away. I know a lot of times we were on a go and we're like, yes, so I can do it, yes, I can do it. And then you check your calendar and it's like, oh wait, no, I can't do it. And we're really, we're really um, um, expecting you to be able to, you know, um, get the job done for us. It's hard to find a notary, guys. It's hard for us to find a good notary to do our work for us. Um, and not do our work, but, but do our signings. Let me say that, do our signings. Believe me, if you're doing 10, 12 HUDs a day or CDs a day, I don't have time to sit in a room and close. I, I don't have time. Um, so we want experienced people who have some, some signings under their belt, obviously. I'm never opposed to not helping anyone that's new, but I want you to show me what you have. Give me something so I can give you something, you know? Um, and be receptive to someone critiquing your work because that's the only way you learn. That really is the only way you learn. 
Um, we have, we have, I think, five preferred notaries right now at NPR title, and we're looking for more. Um, this summer, just so you know, it's going to be crazy. This is a perfect opportunity for you guys to get in front of these companies. It's a perfect time for you guys to do that. I'm finished, Tamika, with the slide. I hope that helped you guys at least um, have a basis for some things you can look for. And if they send you a checklist, it's a checklist. Check it off. Check off everything you do. Check off everything you do. Um, because a lot of times, if you don't, some of the companies will dock you your pay if you're, if you're direct with them. So just know that as well. If you send back documents, not NPR title per se, but I have seen some title companies, if you send back a document that is not notarized and you haven't checked your work, they will deduct from your pay. It happens. So we wanna be mindful of that. Um, the only other thing that I can say is be eager. So I don't know how, how many of you, if, if Ms. Liz, you can count, how many people were on the call the last time? I, I can't remember because I'm not tech savvy. <laughs> and you think I am? It was about 30. Today we have 38. Okay. So I sent everyone that was on the call a very lovely email. Very lovely email. I got seven emails back. Seven, you want the business, but are you doing what you need to do to get the business? If you're, if you're, if, if you have enough business, wonderful. I love that. I love to see us all working and, and getting the job done. But if you want to get the business, that was a great introduction and a great step to, I actually hired somebody that's on the call today. Uh, two people, I think that's on the call today. Um, so I don't know if you guys, you guys have these conversations with Miss Liz, but if you don't reach out to us, I reached out to you. What's the best way would you say is to reach out to a title company? Um, if you get an opportunity to do a closing for them, I would just say, send a nice email. Just send a nice email. Thank you so much for allowing me to, to close one of your transactions. If you ever need me, let me know. That's, that's the easiest way. It just shows that, that you care about what you're doing and you want to have that relationship with those people. With, with not those people, but with the title company. Because I appreciate all the people that emailed and I emailed them back. That's the other thing, I emailed them back. So we did have a chain of emails that went back and forth. Now, some of them, some of them asked what our pay was. That's a no no. <laughs> Miss Liz told y'all that on the last one. <laughs> you don't ask about that until you get the job. <laughs> exactly. But I think it's a very nice um, introduction for yourself. Like I will I will send another email for everybody that, that that's on this um call tonight. But should I not get a response? Eh. How can I ever use you? How do I know you're good? How do I really know you're good and you really want the business? Because it's out there. It's out there. I see, and I'm just going to say, Miss Liz, I'm going to use you for example. I see Miss Liz's head all the time. Miss Liz's head is working. Y'all wear me out. Miss Liz's head needs a break. Y'all help me. Oh, I know. I know we do. But but Miss Liz is working. Antoinette, let me just let me just say something. If somebody just asked, "What's the best way to get business?" I mean, I I hope I got it right. We were talking earlier about how you hear something, but you're listening, but you maybe don't hear it right. I think I heard somebody say, "What's the best way to get business from a title company?" Is that what you? Is that what what the question was? Yes, it was. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Everybody is different. Each title company is going to be different. So your question here, I would think, would be an internet has pretty much already told you how to get business from her. Sure. The thing about uh, it, the point is, I was watching a, a uh, uh, the thing, the, the thing about it is that 
we have to be a once we get the business we have to be able to maintain we have to be able to keep that business now and like she just said she reached out to everybody a few people reached back some people may have worked out some people may not have worked out because the other thing you have to deal with is personalities um it's just like how you approach internet may not be the way you're going to approach another title company may not be the way you're going to approach another title company keep in mind you are selling yourself you, you are getting to know internet so therefore you've got to be able to create a connection so that you guys can figure out how you work best together i mean hey sometimes internet not nah, we bump heads because see and, and like i told her i'm an old head at this she needs to grow her own notaries because see i'm gonna do my business plan is set this way right that's what i do and i am part-time therefore some of what antoinette needs does not fit into my business plan but that's why i expose her to all of you guys yes yep and, and but you know what i can lead you to the water <laughs> but i damn sure can't make you drink it just just thought i'd drop that yeah, Antoinette, you, you go ahead and finish your stuff. That little <laughs> nugget of knowledge. <laughs> I, little, I just dropped a little nugget of knowledge. Oh, Lord. Um, there's yes. a few questions in the chat real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, the first one is, is there a valid reason for the notary to be late? How should they handle that issue of changing the time or a replacement notary? We, we, we had this conversation on the last call, but I'll tell y'all again. <laughs> Become friends. Become friends with each other. We all do the same thing. Make for there's there's how many people in this group? How many? Right now it's 39. 39 people. If if you have 20 of them in Texas, why are you not reaching out to other notaries and partnering up? Like, hey, I can't do this one. Do you have time to do this one? I'll let the title company know. You know, we're all in this together guys it's our community if you're it's in our community that should never happen it should never happen when i say never happen because i will tell you this if she would have called me and said look antoinette i can't do the one o'clock i'm gonna be late but i do have another notary i would have instantly said who is it let me call her so just know you have partners in this it's too many of us on this call, on this Zoom meeting, for us not to be speaking to each other and working together and partnering up. That shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Miss Liz didn't train you guys for that to happen. You know, we, we all work together. So let's let's try that. Okay, let's go to the next question. I'm because I'm not gonna harp. Okay, okay. Isn't that what you, isn't that what you saying I fail? Oh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, okay. just kidding. No. But I absolutely know Miss Liz told you guys, you guys work together. I know that because she tells me that all the time. I work for you. I work for you. That means we are in partnership together. That's it. Next question. I'm my lips on today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you do out-of-state signings or just in Texas? All of all over. Depends on, depends on where the signers are. So let me say that. It just depends on where the signers are. So if you are a, uh, I don't know if we have any notary services on, on the call, but if you're a notary service and um, we need someone like the Kansas was, I had one in Kansas yesterday and that was the, one of the three that got changed. Um, but if you're a service and I call you and I say, hey, do you have any notaries in Kansas and Wichita? Of course, you know, I'd love to send business. Is it going to be ongoing business? Probably not, probably not. Uh, because we typically don't have people out of state, but yes, we do once or twice a month. We have a few people um, putting their emails in the chat. I will, she will receive a list of everyone that registered through Eventbrite with your emails. So you don't have to put your email in the chat. Thank you. Uh, 
<laughs> right. Um, the, then another question. If you refer a fellow notary, shouldn't they be approved by your company? If we refer fellow notaries. So I guess if we, like if I was, if I was late and I refer somebody else, shouldn't they be approved by you? They should be approved by me. But how often will that happen? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, well, I, I think, okay, I think, okay let, me, let, me give it, let me give a good example. I have an 11, oh, I get a call. Hey, docs will be there at 11 o'clock. Can you sign him at one o'clock? Do you think I have time to ask for all the necessary requirements to get them right. signed? Right. I'm going to expect that you as a partner with NPR title and Antoinette Simons Conley, that you are going to send someone to me that has a background check, a W-9, a commission that's valid, and um, their e and insurance. I'm going to expect that from my people, people on this call, people on this call, um, that you're going to do that. I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that you're not going to send me Joe Schmo off the street. <laughs> Because you know, especially because you're not going to give me more business if you if you do send me that, and then I would expect that notary to send that stuff over to me when they complete the signing, so they can be a part of our family. Exactly, and that's what I was going to say. If you are part of the EC head notary uh, group, then pretty, and you, especially if you've been through my classes then you are, we know you're NNA certified. We know you have the ENO insurance, so forth and so on. Now, of course, there are people on this call who have not been through my class, so I can't say, you know, what their qualifications are or their level of, their level of training, because, you know, we can train and then, then people can go off and create their own, uh, their own world. However, it, it, I, would, I would think that anyone you are connected to, you have a relationship with, you know that they have the credentials. Because if you refer that person, that's a reflection on you. Mm -hmm. Which also leads me to, I try to funnel people to internet. Well, see, when I do that and something goes south, Liz, do you know so and so and so and so and so and so? So that's and a reflection on me. And that's exactly how I say it too. Oh, Why do you say that? Yeah. So we got to be representative of us. We, you know, my, my goal is, my goal is, my desire is to make sure that I am producing the best notaries in North Texas and beyond because other people um, come to my classes as well. So in this, like, if you need help with something, typically, I'm going to answer the phone when I see your number. If you, you know, if you've been through my class, I'm going to get you. If I'm in a signing or whatever, you best believe the minute I'm done, I'm calling you back. Because if I refer you to Antoinette, then that's a reflection on me. And that tells me that I need to, but you tell, if she tells me, what the problem was, then that gives me an opportunity to come back to you to say, hey, let's revisit this. Make sense? And maybe, and maybe, you, maybe you need a little, um, some additional, you know, one-on-one -on -one time or just going over a few docs and that's fine. And that's fine. I will give everybody a chance. I just want you guys to know that um, there is a level of, expectation especially if you if you've gone to miss liz head's class i expect you to come in and 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 knock it out the park now i know we all make mistakes because even i miss a notary i miss several today but um you know we're moving fast and we have things going on in our minds elsewhere and things like that but i i do i i, I truly expect you know you guys to to be in the same you know, you guys stay in the same wheelhouse or in the same community that we all have our credentials and they're up to par if you need to transfer a, tra a transaction to somebody else. But you're going to call me first and tell me, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Next question. <laughs> okay. You mentioned you just hired two people. What is your definition of hired? I reached out to them. They did a couple of notaries. So I tested them out. I tested them first. And they, 
they met my criteria and they were excellent and smiled during the whole time and it was stressful because I'm gonna put you to the fire. As nice as as nice as you all think I am, boy, she's Who a good that? the word. <laughs> Um, but no, I'm kind of hard nosed. I'm kind of hard nosed. And um, I, I put him to the fire, but he, he got it done. It was a gentleman. He got it done and he did it with a smile. And when I tell you, he never missed a beat, a phone call. Hey, I'm leaving here. I'm going to the next one, Antoinette. Um, he was just right. He was he was just right on target. And when he didn't get the docs in FedEx that night because it ran late. He dropped them off. He was at our office before I got there, dropping them off. So that was a um, a student of Mrs. Head, and uh, it was it was wonderful just to know that he cared enough to go the extra mile when he didn't mess up. He just ran out of time. So I understand that, but he faxed and uh, did he fax or scan? He scanned the documents to me that night. I can't get to you, Antoinette, but I'm gonna bring your originals to you in the morning. I don't care where I am. They'll be there before you open the door. And I was like, oh, okay. I have the fax copies. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, no need to rush, but he did it. And he literally, he was there before I was there. Um, so that was an excellent um, indication of what he will do and what he can do. Not that I will ever push him like that again, but it, it, he set himself apart. He set himself apart as a as a signing, a loan signing um, uh, notary. He he really did well. And then another young lady, she was just um, she, she didn't miss a beat. She just didn't miss a beat. Hey, I got a signing at four o'clock. Do you think you can do it? Well, let me check my schedule. Hold on one second. Remember, we talked about that. Don't tell me what you have going on. You put you pause put me on hold and say, yes or no, you can do it. And sure enough, she got it done. And I, I think she's a delight. I think she's a delight. Wonderful. So just know that it's those kind of people that just, they just, it's a spark. Miss Liz is one. Uh, it's just, it's just, she's going to say that. It's just a little, it's just a little something extra that they, that they do. And I can't tell you what it is. It's almost, it's the professionalism and the eagerness and the ability to get it done even when you're pushed. Um, and that's okay. It may There may be times when you say, oh, Antoinette, well, I'm sorry, I can't do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Do you know somebody else? Because the first person I'm calling is Miss Liz. Miss Liz, do you have a notary out in Saginaw? Well, look at my list. <laughs> so that's, that's how we work. Guys, that's how we work. So if you want to be a part of it, great. If you want to do it on your own, that's great too. But you have a community right here. You have a community right here. So I'm, I'm, I'm just a small little step in what your capabilities are. I'm hoping that everybody gets a big company that they, that they become a preferred notary for. I, I would love that for all of you. But you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. Okay, next question. Okay, and Tanya wanted me to let you know that she asked that question. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> You're okay. on my way. You got 30 days, honey. Oh. oh. Okay, that's great. I appreciate it. And thank you, Tamika. Um, I'm under my mom's computer, and I wanted to put in the comments if I could take two seconds, two minutes, one yeah. minute. <laughs> the feedback that I have gotten from you, Antoinette, and, and Liz is just phenomenal. Uh, as a new person in this business, you mentioned earlier, you have to be open to criticism and feedback. I did my first seller packet, which was my first signing ever. I made mistakes. Uh, I corrected them, but I won't make those mistakes anymore. And it stressed you out, didn't it? It did. Thank it really did. And Antoinette, mm -hmm. not to say that people shouldn't think about what they were getting paid. I didn't even think to ask what I was getting paid. I was delighted over the opportunity. And then you go, here's your check. <laughs> like what? Oh, I forgot I was getting paid. Cause I just wanted to get in, you know, I wanted to get in, get my feet wet. So thank you both. You're, you're, thank you're, you. I missed you're the first welcome. call. That's why you didn't get an email from me. <laughs> <laughs> but we, but we, had our, we had our talk. 
you you had already sent she had already sent an email to us and I was like oh she's gonna be a good fit for us because she's in our wheelhouse she's in our wheelhouse so this is definitely somebody I want to work with and work have her work for um work for us and doing some of our signings I called literally her three hours before the closing she's like wait a minute I, I gotta get dressed I said okay do what you need to do I <laughs> send you the docs right now I'm sending you the docs right now. And she's like, okay. And you were very nervous. I could tell you were nervous, but, but you made sure you called every step of the way. Even when you messed up, you still called. <laughs> going over to Office Depot to print it out. I'm going right back to the house. <laughs> now, still, I'm using you as an example. And I thought it was lovely because, because I'm thankful for being on the call. She, she missed the document, went right to Office Depot, printed it out, went right back to that house and got it signed. Now, let me just add something uh, for you guys who are brand new at Notre at being a, a signing agent and you want that title company business and so forth and so on and you want internet business. Ain't no way to hell I'm gonna call internet at every step. That's why I said, baby, you need to grow your own. I ain't it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go get it done. But I am not spending my time calling you. Okay, I just did this. Okay, I, now I will send you a text message because most of the the signing places, you know, the, the, the sign yeah. services, you can send them a text message and let them know when you finished. Or it's just I use Snapdocs, of course. You just you just type that right in there that it's finished. You put your, you know your shipping information in there. You moving on. Hi. Me trying to drive and call somebody to tell them I just, okay, I'm, I did this, I did that. Mm -mm. We don't want to see you do it either. You don't want to see me do that. No so way. you guys, when Ant Antoinette, I just got to say this too, darling. She mentioned it just briefly, that NPR is a smaller title company. You know, sometimes people want to go for the big, the Chicago titles, the lawyer titles, the so forth and so on. Well, let me tell you something. You might want to consider starting with a smaller title company like Internet and NPR because they, number one, they're, they're going to be a, probably a little more patient with you as new people starting out. And um, number two, accessibility. Uh, because I'm talking about, I'm not going to stop at every point and call. Well, if you call internet, you call NPR, they're going to pick up the phone. A lot of these larger places, they're not going to pick up the phone for you to, to talk to them. Even if you have a question or a problem, they're not going to answer the phone. So there is some, there is definitely some, um, some benefit to working with a smaller uh, title company. Now you may not have 30 loans a month uh, from a smaller title company and that's okay. But that small title company may become that big title company in five, 10 years. So if you're in it for the long haul, that's a good way to look at it. Tanya, yes. you're more than welcome, darling. You yes. Know, Thank you. Great. Thank you for saying that, Tanya. I appreciate it because you were definitely, um, a training experience for me because sometimes I'm a little rough and 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 it's not my intention but you gotta learn you right gotta learn. I understand and if, if you can't take it from me I promise you when you get to the Chicago's Miss Liz will tell you the lawyer's title they don't care you'll never get asked again never and that's how they are we'll at least give you some leeway <laughs> Look, and, but I don't know them well enough to go in and say, can you please just give her one more chance? Right. See? I can do that with Antoinette. Hey, you did. Yeah, she spoke, she, she, she said, we got, we got 30 days. I said, it's almost over. It's almost, <laughs> our 30 days is almost over. So we'll be calling. We'll be reaching Thank out. You. Thank what, you both. What, no problem. What's, your, uh, what's the next one? I'm in Austin. Do you have jobs in this area? And I want to just let everybody know, you don't have to put your questions in the chat. You can ask her. Just turn your mic off. You don't have to put it in the chat. If you don't want to ask her and put your, that's fine, but you do have that option. Well, you said turn it off. You mean turn it on? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> 
<laughs> She's so funny. I'm looking at the questions. I'm so sorry, how long can we see? Um, is there valid reason I'm going to be late? How many signings are you required to become a signing agent with your company? I inquire as a new signing agent, but have been in the real estate business for 15 years. Who is that? Who said that loveliness? Hmm. Don Donald? Was that Donald? Samika, you got to help me with that. Was that his question? It was me. It was Robin. Oh. It's Robin. Robin. Robin, you were on the last call. Uh, no, I'm, I just came across your um, your meeting when I joined the group, and I, I, I wanted to get uh, get the information on how to start being just starting in the business. So you're, so you're a newbie newbie. Have you ever done a signing before? I've done one. How did it go? Um, I had, I missed one on um, signature on the RTC. Mm. Okay. Did you see all of our faces go? I did. I don't know if she did, but I definitely saw it. Remember, <laughs> this is a friendly community. <laughs> we are. I know we're like, ooh, shame. Uh, no. Uh, um, after, that, after that, before you before you answer her, Robin, let me just share this. Five years ago, over five years ago, what, Robin, where do you live? I live in Anna. Anna. Okay. Do you know where Arlington is? I have an idea where Arlington, I, I'm new to Texas. Okay, okay, well anyway, I'm in Arlington near Fort Worth. Yes, ma'am. My very first signing, five years ago, over five years ago, it was in Burleson, way, way deep in Burleson, <laughs> like 25 minutes away. I remember that. <laughs> Who's that laughing at me? Yolanda, I was at the notary conference when you told this story. <laughs> I missed, no, I didn't miss the, <laughs> buying the, the right to cancel. They signed in the wrong place. So they canceled. I, so they canceled. Had go, I had to go all the way back after I realized what I'd done. I had to go all the way back to get that done. But no, that was the one I that was the one I told at the conference. But then I had to come, of course, come all the way back, had to fax it, then trying to get it in the in the UPS. But my very first one, I messed up. Like you, I messed up on the right to cancel. I ain't missed it since. That's right. That's no, and they didn't. They didn't make me go back um, because I had left the document with him and explained to him what. It gave him his dates and told him where to, it was all marked for where he needed to sign and everything. I just didn't include one signed in the package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right to camp yeah. is crucial. It, that one is crucial. Yeah, it is. It is. And it's, and it's, even though you go through your docs, as soon as I get that package, I go right back through them. I'm like, oh. I did. I went through them like three times because I, luckily, luckily for my first one, it was up in Fannin. So the closing was at six. And of course, UPS and FedEx is closed by that time. So it gave me time to come back and go through it and go through it and double check it and double check it. To it, make was sure I had, and it, it was, was a refund. It was a refund. So, so right. we, we, we kind of, eh, we're a little bit more, I am a little bit more lenient on refis because I know I have three days. Um, everybody's not, I'm only speaking for me. I'm only going to speak for me. For you as a first time signer, I would definitely recommend you want more signings. Let me ask that first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you want more signings to practice or do you want more signings because it is um, what you want to do? Because I think sitting down with someone is very important. Mm -hmm. so, so you, if you know the documents, great. You've been in the business. I, I don't know if that was your email. You've been in the business for real estate for a while. So you, you know the verbiage. You know right. the verbiage. I just say practice. That maybe a, uh, have a package, a, a play package and practice on it, you know? Um, print it out and don't put it in any order and just go through it and learn the documents. I guarantee you, you will never miss that. You will never, ever miss no. that again. 
<laughs> I will never miss it again. And I asked the company that sent me, did it affect my rating? And they told me, no, don't worry about it. So I was fortunate because I know that they share ratings and notes amongst each other because I did REOs as well as a realtor. So I know mm -hmm. on those platforms, they do share notes amongst the different vendors. Right. Right. Um, just, just a quick little, a quick little tidbit. Um, and I'll just tell you guys when I first got my notary, <laughs> I can't make this up. I was an escrow assistant for some years, a lot of years. So I started from the ground up and I used to ship packages. I cannot make this up. I certified, certified an original deed of trust. If you guys don't know what that means, you can't certify an original because it's an original. And I sent it off to be recorded. When we used to have to FedEx the recording or somebody hand carried the recording down to the county. So I had to go get a whole entire deed of trust, really sign, and ask the people and beg them, please date it <laughs> for the date you closed. And they're like, why are we, and they were like, why are we doing this again? And I'm like, I made a mistake. I got, I got two things to add to that. Antoinette, you gave Robin the wrong answer. The answer would have been, uh, Robin, you need to go to Liz's class so that she can train you. Well, she was in your class. I thought Robin was the Robin from last time. Robin ain't no. from last time. But Well, Robin, you need to go to Miss Liz's class. You just live in Anna. That, that, <laughs> it's not lying. That's it's it. not lying. She can do it right in Anna. Oh, exactly, exactly. Classes are online now. And then the second thing is, it's like I want you to be, I want you to be clear that you heard what Antoinette said on her her first mess up. Well, she certified that document, and then, uh, but she's she's notarizing it. She's notarizing that signature because they had to resign. Well. And, and then she needed that deed signed for the day that they originally closed. Somebody tell me who's been to Notary 101 or, or Workshop 1, what's wrong with that picture? You can't backdate a, a notarization. You, can, you cannot. Good job. <laughs> you cannot. Yep. But you did. <laughs> and, but, you know, she was new. Bet you don't do that no more. My escort, my escort officer said, hey, I don't care how you get it done. You got to get out there and get it done. And I got it done. Now, what you got to think about, you're partnering with Antoinette. And, and Antoinette tells you to go backdate some stuff. What you going to do? No, I would never ask No, ma'am, I'm sorry. I can't do that. There you go. It was, but again, it was my notary. Yeah. It was my notary, so I could do that. So always no backdating, people. <laughs> Don't sign their signature, okay? Don't initial their signature. I can tell. Take it back and get it signed. <laughs> yeah. So you have to know, you, you, you know, we love, I love Antoinette. I love Antoinette. Uh, and I love all of, all of my, my business partners. However, your, your title people, your hiring companies, your signing services, whoever, they may ask you to do something that they, but they don't know that it's wrong. And that's why it's up to us to know our notary laws. You must yes. know your state's notary laws as far as what you can and cannot do. Because when they ask you to do something that's going to help them out for that time, you know, they're going to forget it when you go to jail for it. So mm -hmm. don't do it. Hey, Miss Liz, can yeah. I ask you a quick question? I just had a signing before I jumped on this call, and it's, it's funny that you say that because they told the clients that I was going to leave the documents at the door and come back and pick them up. I said, yeah, that's not going to happen. So if you're not going to let me in, I'm okay with that, but I'm not leaving these documents. I, why would they tell them that? Well, because, you know, in COVID-19, they're, they change the rules. This DoorDash thing that some people are doing. There are mm -hmm. guidelines that people, you know, there are certain guidelines, and I go over some of it in my class as far as how you do 
a DoorDash. And it's also on my, I think it's on my Facebook uh, group, uh, the guidelines, somebody set out some guidelines. You, you had to look at the ID through the window and all mm -hmm. kinds of crazy stuff like that. I personally, again, depends on what's in your, what is in your business plan. That yeah. is not in my business That's plan. That's not in my plan either. Mm -mm. DoorDash. I do not yeah. do DoorDash. You know, you, you drop the documents, go wait in your car. They, they do their thing. Then nope. they come back, drop them, and then you notarize them. You didn't see anybody sign. That's what I told them. Yeah, I now, can't put my stamp on here if I don't see you sign this. Now, I have had that happen. Now, I'm going to tell you the honest God truth. I've had that happen. But guess what my notary did? She said, I will notarize your documents if you stand in front of this window and sign them. I have so done I thought, that. I thought that was brilliant. I thought it was brilliant. I have actually passed documents through a window. Yeah, yes. I've done that. I think it's okay. I think but, it's okay. They were they was trying to take the packet. Uh, no. yeah. we're, we're no. We don't know who's we don't know who's inside signing those documents. Thank you. I don't know who's inside with a gun to somebody's head and say, sign here. No, but it's right. something that is allowed and and, and to that I'm not trying to to, to oh to, to take your your working with the title uh because this is really workshop one. Queen, you've been to workshop one. Uh not with you, no. Then maybe you need to come. What you say? <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, uh. yeah. But look, Queen. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, okay. That is something that was created for COVID nineteen. Mm -hmm. There's a fine line. There's a fine line when we're out here doing our jobs. There's a fine line between what's legal and what's not legal. You know, you could say, "Stand in the window, let me watch you sign," and then you could do it that way. You have to make the decision about how you're going to do your business. Okay, I'm just curious as to where that would come from. Like, he literally said that that's what they told him to do. Yes, I've had it happen. I've had someone tell me that too. They said, okay. I, they told me you were going to drop the docs. No, sir, I'm not dropping the docs. So, you know, I can come or they can send you somebody else who will drop the docs. Do now, not be afraid to say, no, I cannot accommodate you because of this. Okay. And, the, uh, and the other thing is, now we all, we all have errors and omissions, including me. Um, and I have two sets. I have one for title and one because I'm a notary as well. I'm an NNA notary as well. So always be mindful of this. It is, you are liable for those documents. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So if you drop them off and something happens and, you know, you release them to whoever and they say, well, where are the documents? Is it Queen? Is it Queen? I can't see. Is her name Queen? Yes. 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 Okay. So, so Queen, if you drop those documents off, you relinquish somebody else's information to a party that they said, oh, oh, it's okay. You can just leave them. Order well, something. Yeah, that's what I explained it to her. I said, this has your personal information on there. There is like no way I would ever leave this. And I told him, I said, if you're okay, if you don't want me to come in, I'm okay with that. But what's not going to happen today is me leaving these docs. So you decide on how, how Queen, you Queen, I love you. I love you. Yeah, that's, not that. <laughs> that's not happening today. That's not happening today. I love that. I got a, even though I got 100,000 in errors, I don't, I'm not trying to use it. Exactly. There you exactly. go. There you go. Because again, like you said, you'll be the one in jail while they're, yep. you know, okay with whatever's going on in their life. And they don't care because, again, like people say, oh, well, is she just a notary? No. Uh -huh. That's, That's my livelihood. Exactly. Exactly. Anybody got any other questions? There was some more stuff in the chat, wasn't it, Nika? No. I guess they were sending them to Antoinette privately. We're done on our side. She oh. was doing something that wasn't on mine. I have something. Yes, ma'am. Um, I don't really want to put her on the spot, but I saw a while ago that Regina Smith was the notary of the year. Is that right? Yes. So oh, she's been really quiet on this call. So I'd like to know how you earned that spot, Regina. So next year I can be the notary of the year. <laughs> By listening and doing everything that Liz said in her classes. <laughs> Congratulations. Literally, I just, with everything that she told me to do from getting my profile set up to 
helping me um, when I was, you know, going out on signings, she will answer your calls if you call her, even if she's in the middle of something or she'll call you back. But I just followed everything that she said to do and that did it for me. It worked. Well, in addition to that, Regina was in this business, you got to know why you're doing it and you got to be hungry. You got to be hungry. You got to want to make that money. It's up to you. This is, this is all about it's, it's what you put in it is what you're going to get out. So I agree. Regina, Regina was hungry to go. Regina, where's Regina uh, Smith? Where's Regina uh, Kennedy? She's, she, on I, here. she's on here. Yeah. She's, she just, she's just sent me an email. She's on there. She, okay. She's another one. And Regina Smith is full time. Regina Kennedy is part time. But here again, and Regina, Regina Kennedy was wearing me out one time. And then finally, I just had to tell her because she wanted to know everything. Baby, you ain't gonna know everything. I can't teach you everything. I mean, and it changes, guys. It yeah, changes. Yeah. Really. yeah. But uh, yeah, they, they were hungry. They were inquisitive. They wanted to do this business. You've got to want to do this business. You've got mm -hmm. to want to go work with internet. You've got to want to listen to how she wants her information done. You have got to be flexible enough to do what internet wants, but also do what the other hiring companies want you to do. You've got mm -hmm. to be able to, you've got to be willing to read the instructions. That's first and foremost. You've got to read everybody's instructions. Mm -hmm. and, and then somebody wanted to know, my iPhone person wants to know, will there be a replay of this uh, webinar? The connection has been very touch and go, and I'm only hearing every other word. I'm so sorry you only heard um, every other word. But uh, yes, now I think we missed the first five minutes of it because we were having a problem getting the recording going. But uh, Tamika will, will post it. And um, uh, it'll be on your YouTube channel. It'll be on EC Head Consulting Training Workshop TV on YouTube tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. Huh? I said I love it. Any other any other questions? I want you guys to be um, ready and prepared. I I also wanted to mention to notaries: Has everybody on the call done a signing? Raise your hand if you haven't. Don't be putting people on the spot like that. I, I, I want to know. <laughs> Sorry, I want to know. They're in your chat. I see. We, have, we have some no's. I, I see. I see them coming nope, through. Some no's. Oh, wow. Repeat the question someone asked. Has anyone the question? On the call not ever done a signing? You've never done a signing, ever. You've got quite a few. You've got quite a few who have. Yeah, that's me. That's okay. So, question: What are you prepared to do to get a signing? Good as soon as I put these children to bed, I'm going to email you, and I'm going to step yes. out on faith and not let fear override my consciousness. And that's Can what I... I'm going to put in the email to you, Internet. Amen. I, I love you. it. I, the wonderful. I'm going to tell you a quick story. So, I was an escrow assistant for 13 years, 13, 10 years with Chicago title. I became an escrow officer there and then I left the company, but I've been in the business for 18 years. I've been in the business a long time, but when I sat in on my first closing, I had a whole panic attack. Now I'm of a particular age where sweat happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm at that age too then. <laughs> And it was popping off my forehead. I was like, what's going on? Like, I know this stuff. I know this stuff. There is no reason why I should be nervous. But it's so, I'm telling you, when you act like you know and you're confident, no one ever knows. They don't even know if you're lying. They don't care. They do. Like, you're going you're gonna to run into someone and they're like, well, no. Well, that's not how it goes. And I don't like this number and I don't, you know, and he didn't tell me that. But even if you go in there with confidence, they can't tell the difference. Sometimes I go into closings and I'm like, I don't feel like it's like, this is just me. Please don't judge me. 
I go into closings and there is a package that is this thick. You're not getting everything out of me at this closing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have energy. I'm tired and I'm old. Okay. So I give them all that I can, but if you do it in a, and I've never seen anyone so well versed and I can only use her as an example, Miss Liz. Miss Liz can go into a closing and they are just nasty, just, oh, just nasty people. You can just tell they have something on them. And, and, and it's an aura that brings down the room. Miss Liz don't care. <laughs> How you doing? You don't want to talk today, huh? I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I mean, I was, I was like, oh, this lady. This lady's my friend. She's going to be my friend. And they leave yeah. happy. Don't they leave happy? They do. But she goes in with such confidence that she turns that closing around. Like, I mean, they leave and they're like, they're, fr they're friends. Oh, Miss Liz is going to get chicken salad with somebody this week. I don't know who the lady is. And I'm just like, what's happened? Like, y'all were pissed off and just called the loan officer and everything. But they're going to get chicken salad. So it's just about your presence. So sometimes you have to just be confident and bold in what you want to do. So for all the people that haven't done a signing, be confident in wanting to do the work. You can't come to me and meek and mild and you don't, you know, you got, you got to get into the EC consulting class. You got to get into the class. If you haven't been to the class, you got to learn how to get all, the, all those nuggets from her. She's got good nuggets too and great hair. Just, just to mention, just great hair. <laughs> um, but if you, she, she can show you, and she can lead you. But unless you want it, oh, what I'm saying, you right? You can't it's be like, uh, you fucking. Miss Burks, you're, Ooh, you're Burke, Miss Burks, Miss Burks, <laughs> your mic is on. Ooh, but for all the ones that haven't done the signing yet, reach out. Reach out and just say, hey, Antoinette, um, I just want to know if you have anything going on this week, maybe that I can help you with. Like I said, did you guys, did you guys hear me at the beginning of this call, this, this meeting? So I'm, yes. not doing, I'm not doing no sign. I, I don't have sign. I don't have sign. I don't, I, I, and, 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 and I'm not being cocky. I'm blessed. Lord, thank you. I'm blessed. But I got a whole community that can do all, if, if. All of you did one signing for me this month. All my closings would happen. I would not have to sit in, sit in a closing room and close anybody. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do with that information? So, and <laughs> so you're going to reach out to, um, you're going to send in, we're going to give internet a list of all you guys who, who registered. Uh, rather, who's on this call? Right. And uh, then she's she'll probably do the same thing she did before, is to reach out to you. Now, um, somebody asked uh, about my training, and Tamika is going to give you that information. Um, uh, uh, she's going to put that information. Um, to, she'll give it to you somehow here. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. you know. But let me tell you about, let me tell you about uh, when you go into your signings, um, the one thing that you have to do, regardless, as, regardless whether it's internet or another hiring entity, you keep in mind, you own that room. That room is yours. You are responsible for what happens in that room. Yep. And the thing that you need to have happen is what? You need to get that signing completed. That's, By that's, your, that's your one job. That's your that's one your job. job. You get that signed. You want to get a completed, you want those documents signed and you want to do it. Uh, you make sure you're doing it the right way. Make sure you're doing it. But you've got to be, you know, you, sometimes you just take on the person's the person's or too and then you have to fight that if it's a bad one because here's the thing most times they're scared 
this is the largest transaction that they will do in their lifetime, perhaps. They are, they're uncomfortable. So the way I look at it is it's my job to put them at ease. And then if they want to fuss, and especially now, because everything has been delayed because of, you know, the lenders are behind with everything, because of COVID-19, because of this, that, and the other, don't matter. They have been through a tough time getting to that closing table. They mm -hmm. may have started the process three, four months ago, and they're finally now at the table. And things have not gone well because they've had to send documents two, three, four times to that lender before they can get it right. They're pissed off. Well, your face is, a, is the only face they're seeing because most of this has been done online or on the telephone. So you are the person who they are going to take their frustration out on. Too. Absolutely. So what you do, and I, I, I talk about this in my class, you let them vent. If they want to fuss and fuss about what's going on and what happened to them, just take your little pen, lay your you hand can... down, yep, and just put your hand. Don't cross, don't cross your arms, please. Put your, hand, put your hands on your lap, lean in like you're listening to them, and you give them empathy. I'm not saying you take a you take a whipping, but you give them empathy. You give them five minutes to vent, and then you're able to go through with your closing smoothly. Now, if they want to sit there and fuss, cut, well, here's what, here's what happened, what I've seen happen. If you don't let them get it out in that first five minutes, and you just want to rush through because you got to go to another signing, then they're going to fuss throughout the thing, so it's going to take you longer to do it. And the other thing is, I always give, I don't care if it's a seller package or if it is a, a, a refi, a purchase, or whatever, I always allow an hour for that closing. On a reverse mortgage, I allow two hours. So you you and, and so when you're scheduling, like Antoinette said, don't go trying to change her schedule to suit your schedule. You do your appointments based on your availability, leaving time in between to print new documents for your next assignment to get there, to get it done, to get it into the overnight uh, packages, overnight, uh, what's it called? Overnight? Delivery. Delivery. Okay, I, I'm done preaching. <laughs> She's so fun. You need um, a soapbox? <laughs> you know what? You, anybody who does not know, that's my daughter. So she's she's she can be, and, and she's my social media person. So I have to be nice to her. She's a little snarky. She's a little yes. snarky on this list. She, I know we know where she gets it from. <laughs> I'm just saying. But no, I, I just want you guys. Even though you haven't done the signing, I just I just I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You just have to be confident in it. Um, and with COVID-19 going on, everybody's very cautious. So we don't know when we're going to be out of this. We don't know. Um, so we want to make sure that you guys are prepared when you go to these homes. Um, protect yourself. People are a little bit more guarded. I will say this. People are a little bit more guarded. And they're a little bit, mm, they're a side eye. Kind of, if you came to my house, you, you couldn't get in. Um, but... Just be mindful of that. Sometimes people are are not just being rude to be rude or or um, abrasive. Sometimes it's just what's going on right now. And this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And we'll be back to normal. We'll be back to normal. We'll be operating differently, but we'll be back to the way we used to do business as usual. Um, the other thing is, I know me and Ms. Liz talked about it a couple weeks ago, but the the in the packages, the COVID-19 attestation. Have you seen that, Ms. Liz? Have I seen that? The COVID-19 attestation. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of different. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. Also the packages now. So, guys, remember that. Um, not to say that you need to be looking for it, but it's in there. And um, some of them require, like, initials next to each signature. Uh, Make sure you're looking at the documents because 
let's say the husband signs all five and the wife only signs four, it's kind of a red flag for the lender. It's a red flag for the lender. And it's in, and that document is really about, um, are they, um, are they going to be employed? Is, is their work being affected by COVID-19 in six months? So they're giving a guarantee for six months, possibly, that they're going to be employed and they can pay this mortgage. So we need to be mindful of those new documents. And when you get them, you don't have to look, I mean, read every line, but at least know what the document's saying, because there are new ones in packages now. Yep. Uh, and I'm sure uh, you discussed that with um, your classes and stuff like that. But um, I look forward to to meeting you all and hoping to help you guys grow your business. Um, I would love, love to hear from you all. Um, I will send an email out. My expectation is that I receive an email back. Should I not? Um, that's fine, too. But I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help Miss Liz get you guys ready for what's about to come. And just so you guys know, rates went down yesterday. So that means it's going to be a lot of people refinancing. A lot of people refinancing. Um, so we the business. Happy on that. We ain't got real happy on that. <laughs> I love that. I, I love when I love when rates go down. It's like I can do a refi in my sleep. In my sleep. But be be mindful of that because even even the purchases are going to go up and just a quick note to you all we can live off refis we eat off purchases mm -hmm. that's in the title business oh, so of okay. course we want people that know how to do purchase transactions and seller closings i know sellers are easier but if you can knock out a buyer hands down you won not a borrower those are two different things. A borrower already owns the property. A buyer is a new purchaser. So those packages are a little bit thicker than a than a refi. But if you can, if you guys can handle it, I look forward to to working with some of you, um, hearing from you, letting you guys know um, what's new to come in the business, um, what things are changing. If you need assistance, please don't call me at once. Um, <laughs> Or if you have a question, you know, um, I'm not one of those people that you can't call, but you can't ask me the same question three times. There you go. You know, I need, I need people to be mindful that, you know, our time is valuable as well. And we want, we want you to be superstars and we're here to help you become superstars um, in this business. But I, I want to make sure that you are confident in when you go out there in the business, because everybody's not going to be Antoinette from NPR title. So be ready, be ready. It's 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 all coming to you. Claim it, and it's and it's 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 already done. Claim it is already done. So if you guys are ready, let's 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 get the ball rolling. I at least I at least there's almost forty people on this call. I at least need 43. to hear at least I need to hear from at least twenty. Twenty. It's actually forty because you, Tamika, and I make up three of them. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So for that, I think it's still good. I and think I hope that it's been beneficial. I think mm -hmm. it was because I don't think we lost anybody in the. No, we gained. Yeah. 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 So I just have a quick, a quick. Um, is uh, what was her name? Tamika, do you remember the lady that won? Is Sebastian on the call today? I believe he's the. Um... Yes, I'm here. Yeah, Sebastian, did you get your gift card? Yes, ma'am, I did. I love it. Did you like uh, my note? Yes, I, I, I appreciate it very, very much. I'm very Thank grateful you. for that. I was expecting to hear from you, but I didn't hear from you. Uh, I'm sorry, and just, uh, I, I'm, I guess I'm still trying to prepare myself. I, You're I see, ready. Well, you I can, see the bar you set, and I, I want to be sure I meet it, or I want to be confident that I can meet the bar that you set. I think you can. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. And I, I expect to see you in the next couple of weeks, okay? All right. you're, not, you're not that far from us. I, you, you're confident enough you can get it done. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. And, and Marie what, Jackson, hold on, Antoinette. Marie Jackson, uh, you said, what is your email address? Who's, whose email address are you looking for? Because you said that to everyone. 
So if you tell us whose email address you want. Oh, she wants Antoinette's email address. Well, and, okay. Sorry. Can, can you want to give it to her or, or should you're going to send an email to them in a day or so, right? Right. Right. But you want I'm, to write you know what? I'm going to give, give away. away. Okay, so I'm going to give away something tonight. I'm going to give away something tonight. Y'all done got me in the spirit. Father, you just led me right there. Father, you just led me. Well, wait, um, give away your email address first. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not okay. doing that. I'm, I'm uh, not doing that. Because uh, to me, because Tamika's going to send me everybody's name that signed up for the, for the class, and I'm going to email them. And I, Tamika, did not do it pretty quick? Oh, I, yes, the next day. Marie, I guess you got your answer, girl. She <laughs> Marie, I'll send it to you privately. <laughs> I got, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to give away a gift card tonight. Um, I'm trying to think of a question that you guys can answer. Okay. Miss Liz, we should have talked about this. What? A question to ask to the group. Oh, Tamika can do it. She knows how to do that stuff. Oh no, she said no. She said no. Tamika, did you say no? Oh, she no did. I kind of made a face. She spins oh. a wheel or something to do the giveaway. But she wants to ask a question oh, instead of doing a random question. number. Well, it's, oh, it's your question. I don't know what your question right. is. <laughs> no, I wanted, no, I wanted to see. No, we go over questions. You're like, oh, yeah, ask that question. Oh. Um, I want to ask a notary question. I just want to see how, how much you guys pay attention. Right. Where am I? What is my physical address? of my office does anybody you didn't know that huh you didn't tell us that that ain't right that ain't fair <laughs> figure it out <laughs> that ain't fair you want somebody to go google your address i know i know be quick it. Quick it. i know it one number you see eighty one eleven. No, it's not. It's 6321-something, I-20. Oh, Lord, not something. <laughs> it's 6300. I, I win. Oh, you're in Arlington? <laughs> I win. <laughs> I say we do <laughs> another question. This one didn't go well at all. That um, 6031, I-20, Suite 228 in Arlington. <laughs> there you go. I was going to say, yeah, he was there. <laughs> Who? Is that 63? The young man who did the sign-in who dropped off the box? Is that Justin? That was no, not, not Sebastian. No, that was Sebastian. Sebastian. That was no, Justin, Justin's not on the line today. Oh, I know. Okay. So, so if, you, if you were listening, if you were listening, where did I start my career in title? I know. Chicago. I know. Chicago title. I already said that. Oh, <laughs> you got you. Yes, you I'm just telling you. Y'all are so funny. Fair. We should have had you guys text it. Yes, you should have. Yes, I started my career at Chicago Title, and I was a receptionist. Yeah. I was and a. Receptionist. She was there for 13 years. Queen, look at she I'm was really listening. Home. I'm gonna get this business, Miss Liz. The top. I'm hungry. <laughs> You gotta be hungry. Go get Queen. Queen. Where do you live, Queen? I'm in Irving in oh. Las Vegas. Yes. I'm not playing. Central. Playing. You're central. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna what be else emailing. you wanna know about you? I'm gonna be email I'm gonna be emailing you shortly with a transaction to close. Oh. Let's do this. Yep. I've done that that I've done, I've done two hundred this year. I'm really proud of myself. I have my two hundred. I've done 200 this year. I finally hit Ooh, 200. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It can be done. And all the people that don't have any, so let's, let's. Yeah, let's, you can do it. I just, and you're right. I trained, I sent my girlfriend through all the training because she used to work in real estate. And then I sat with her and, and taught her how to do the docs, how I marked them up and gave her two closings and she aced them. Yes, so I'm with you. So now I got a backup, like you said. So when I'm hearing this, I'm going, okay, I'm on the right track. I'm doing the right. You're track. on the right track. You're right on the right track. track. You're so on the right track. I'm gonna be reaching out to you this week. Okay. I have a signing on Friday. Ooh, okay. And I need, and I need okay. you to do it. I got it. I got one at seven. 
That's the only, I, I know. We'll right. talk. We'll okay. talk. Okay. We'll talk. <laughs> I already know what my calendar is, so. <laughs> Good for you. I'm so proud of you, and I don't even know you. Yes, you, <laughs> do. you, don't, re you don't remember me. I met you at NNA. That's why I can tell your story. <laughs> I took your class. That's why I can tell you your story. And when you said Burleson, I said, I knew that was her. <laughs> Her hair is a little different, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. I just don't, I'm old. I just forgot. That's okay. And you, then you told us you, you put the fee up because you figured they wasn't going to gonna take it. And then they called you back and told you uh, you got it. And you said, damn. Oh, that was okay. You were, that was a okay, different so I'm going to need you to pick a different story. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a different one. That's, a di that's one when I was sitting at lunch. And there was a call that came. Right. It was in Burleson. We have and, all heard this story. And I said, no, I ain't doing that. And then yeah. I said, no, let me just see what happens if I put in this price. <laughs> and, I said, and I got it. And I said, that's why I said, don't put it in. Don't even play. And that, was, that was her point. She said, you better be ready to take it because you never know what someone That's wants. right. That's right. So, and it may yeah. not be something you want. It may not be exactly. something you want. So, and so from that, I, I don't do that. So yes, ma'am, I know who you are. I've took your I've taken a class with you at NNA. So yes, oh, good, good, good. See, now, now let me tell you this, Tamika. You know, she said we all heard that story. Well, not everybody did, but that's okay. But she's saying it's eight twenty three. We twenty three minutes old. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going. We're going. I'm home, but you know, we're out. I, I'm home too, but I'm not trying to sit with y'all all night. I, know. <laughs> I have to go for tonight, but I'm a child. I totally enjoy this. I enjoy seeing y'all. I enjoy just dialoguing with you guys and trying to get you to the next level. If you're ready, if you're ready, all you got to do is call. All right. you got to do is call. just reach out because I mean, I'm not a mind reader and I don't want to be. Right. I don't want to be. So, so I expect on the next call, I'm not, I'm not speaking this into existence. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I'll be emailing you. <laughs> Everyone heard it. Everyone heard it. <laughs> on the net, on the next one, we, I, I hope that everybody that hasn't done a signing has one in the pipeline or has completed one. And Miss Liz is here. I'm here. But I am going to say, if you haven't gone to her class, you better get registered. You need to get registered. Put the links, I put the links in the chat. We have one on this Saturday, which is notary, I'm sorry, is workshop one. And then the following Saturday is workshop two. Perfect. Perfect. And then notary 101 is when? July 11th. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're yeah. so welcome. Very much. Those of you who have not, Come on. Those of you who think you need a refresher, come on. Come on. Yes. I think I may even get on one of those calls, come one on. of those meetings, just because I just like to see who's there and who's really hungry for it. Because if you're willing to put in the time and the effort to sit and listen to Miss Liz, how long is this class? Ooh, we. Did you see how she put that, though? Liz. <laughs> Tamika, I can only deal with her for about an hour and a half. <laughs> well, try four and five and six hours. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah. I may, you know, pop in and out just to see what's going on. And I, I, I want to see the faces in there. I want to be on the the one oh the second part of one oh one and and see who's really hungry. I want to see people that wanna that wanna really hone in on this business because it's there. It's there. Everybody, hey, people buy houses. People mm -hmm. need somewhere to live. And Antoinette, you said mm -hmm. you want to see people faces and in class. Everyone has to have their camera on. You can't have the blackout screens like we've got well, I love here. It. I, love I, it. I have to see everybody's face. I have to make sure nobody's sleeping. Because <laughs> you're sleep worthy? <laughs> no, it's a very lively class. I'm, I'm sure. It's very, it's very I'm participative. Sure. Yeah, everybody participates, but still, it's like with me, they have to sit in a chair for six hours. I'll be trying to get up and, you know, but we, we take That's because she don't have this cool gaming chair. <laughs> oh, is that what? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well, if that's all, I think I think I'm good. I don't yes. know about Liz. Did you have anything else you wanted to add to that lovely lady with the big hair that I love? I think I interrupted you enough for tonight. I'm good. Yeah.
Well, God, God's blessings to you all. Be safe. Be careful. Um, for me at NPR title. Thank y'all. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank you. 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 Thank